everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today I wanted to show you what I keep in my work bag as a registered nurse. This is the bag that I use. This is an old Longchamp bag that I've had for over 10 years actually. I bought it when I was living in Switzerland. Yeah, I bought it in Germany. So this is the bag. It's the navy blue one. Not that it really matters, but it's held up so well. And I started using this bag because I first, after graduating nursing school, I started working a public health job. And instead of just using my like backpack that I always use, I thought I would use this. And I started working longer shifts and I wanted to um, just have like more space in my bag. And I wasn't using this anyway. I hadn't really used it for a long time. So yeah, so this is the bag that I use and just to preface this too, my bag is not like I didn't tidy it or anything. This is actually what my bag is like right now for work. So if it's messy or whatever, then I do apologize. But I mean, keeping it real, I guess. Let's just get started. See what the first thing is in my bag. Okay, so I usually bring my shoes back and forth to work these days because I don't just work on one unit in the hospital and I don't always work at the hospital anymore. I work from home mostly now. So these are the shoes that I wear on day shifts at the hospital. They're the Hoka Bondi 7 and these shoes are honestly the best shoes for comfort that I've, I've ever bought. I, I've gone through so many like nursing shoes, clogs, um, uh, New Balance shoes, like so many ones that were recommended for working like 12 hour shifts as a nurse especially. And these are like, finally I found a pair that are comfortable enough because my feet would be so painful after working. Like they'd feel bruised after. And I would be like not walking normally because my feet would be so sore. Like it's been a lifelong thing for me. So anyway, I finally found a pair that are actually comfortable for me. And they have like a really thick heel and they have definitely withheld using cavi wipes on them like after every shift so yeah i i love these shoes and i think the colors are really cool too so those are the day shift shoes that i bring with me and then i usually especially like when it's not winter i'll wear these to the hospital just because they're slip on and they're just like quick to use or quick to put on i mean and these are the birkenstock clogs and then I also wear these on night shifts too because I've just, you know, you're not walking around as much. It's, it's like, for me, it's more comfortable and then I can like take my shoes off and let my feet air and it's just way nicer. And I also wear these like in my normal life too. I don't know, they might be, my husband thinks that they're not the most flattering, but I really like them. So Birkenstock clogs, I guess, or Birkenstock, I think they all are called clogs. And then Hoka Runners are the two top footwear products that I wear as a nurse. All right, next thing. I keep like a bag of stuff in my bag. So this is just like a, like a shopping bag in here. Oh, oh, a baklava. I think my husband put it in my bag for work one time and then I didn't, I never noticed it. I have that after. All right, so this is like my bag of miscellany that I, this is like legit what I keep with me at work all the time. So I always like to have snacks and the snacks that I kind of had on the go lately are these, the Herbaland vegan protein gummies. So I like to have these with me because the state of nursing in Newfoundland, I was often forced to work 16 hour shifts. So I like to have food with me, you know, in case. So you work your 12 hour shift and then wait to see if you had to stay another four hours. So I often like to have snacks with me just in case I didn't make it home to, to eat food. So snacks for sure. And just like any normal time, honestly, too. It's nice to have snacks. All right, next thing in here is these stoggles the like protective eyewear, especially, you know, the state of the world right now. These are nice to wear instead of wearing like the full on 
visors and PPE and stuff like that. These are good. I got the mini size and they're like a touch tight on me. I don't know why I thought I needed the mini size, but I mean, they're fine. They're good. All right, next thing, tea. I always like keeping this. This is caffeinated tea. It's the Wise Monkey. This bag is really old, but I always like having it with me. And then on that too, on that note, I like to always bring a thermos with me. I usually bring a thermos like with me in the morning um, with coffee in it or something. So I don't have that here, but I do like to always bring a thermos with me. Actually, I'll show you the thermoses I use. All right, these are the thermoses that I like to bring to work, especially because these keep my drinks nice and hot. Um, so they're the Yeti mugs. Um, this is the 16 ounce one, I believe. So this is good for like if I want to bring tea to work. I usually bring this if I'm having tea. That, and then the little one, like the mug size one, is if I have coffee with me like in the morning before I start my shift. I like to bring one of these. And then that way too I have a thermos with me at work if I want to make another like hot drink while I'm working. So that's that. And then next thing in here, spare pair of socks, a spare scrunchie, hand sanitizer. This is the Dr. Bronner stuff. It's the mint flavor. It's really nice actually. A pencil case that's <laughs> empty, but I usually have like highlighters and pens, but I usually keep them in my fleece that I wear to work. I usually have them in the pockets of that or the pockets of my scrub pants. But so I always like to have extra pens and then like the Ooh. and the uh, little flashlights too. And then lotion, especially in the winter when you're, you know, sanitizing all the time. This is it's the Body Shop hemp one that I've been using. And I also have, oh, I have three tubes of lotion. So the Camille one as well. And this is a Bath and Body Works one, rose water, which I don't really like the smell of anymore. I never really liked it, um, but here we are. Trying to use that up. Some mint. You never know. Um, this is a magic CBD salve from Salt Spring Island in BC. Um, this has like Arnica, St. John's Wort, um, and then CBD as well. And this is just really good. I've had quite a few like injuries, honestly work related, but I was in a car accident a long time ago. So I always just kind of get like, like sore neck and stuff like that, especially working. and. Especially I have an old injury like on my elbow and moving patients and stuff around like, you know, boosting them or whatever really, really aggravates it. So I always like to have that. A container, if I have vitamins that I want to bring with me to work, then I'd like to have that in there. Lip balms for sure. Always good to have those a spare phone charger, another pen, and sage like rollers. This is the Eater's Digest, which I've actually been looking for. <laughs> now I know it's in my bag. Usually like stuff like that, you know, if I'm ever having like ailments, usually I'll usually know about them like before I start working. So I kind of bring those things with me if I'm like having like sore muscles. This I just started keeping at work to be honest or keeping in my work bag, but yeah, what else? I have a container, an empty container. This usually was full or like with a scoop worth of Amino IQ. I'll put a photo of it up here, but it's just a, it's like a nootropic uh, and a caffeine drink powder. So I like to always have that with me as just like, I would add it to my water just for like a little perk and instead of coffee all the time. And then whatever relevant notes, this is like a folder when I recently did a stroke course. Oh, and then when I got hired onto the surgery unit. I honestly have never looked at this since, but I just keep it in my work bag because because you never know when you need to reference things that you could just Google. Another pen. I'm gonna keep all these in the actual pencil case. My nursing ID can't get to work without it. And then my stethoscope. This is the standard Litman one. Nothing really like groundbreaking about it. It's like the one most nurses get when you're told to get that one in school. And then that's the one that you carry on with for life. And then this, another little bag here that I keep my like night shift stuff in. So I have like um, a little bottle of mouthwash and toothbrush 
toothbrush holder. I must have taken the toothbrush out. Toothpaste, a little tube of toothpaste. So that I like to keep handy for when I'm doing night shifts. And you know, before I take my break, I like to just brush my teeth or in the morning. Um, another lanyard that I don't really need, but I have a lot of stuff in here I don't need. But we're being real here. Actually, it's not unnecessary stuff, to be honest. It's all nice things to have. And you know, it sucks to be at work for 12 hours and not have it or want, honestly, like, yeah. And then I have some of these Arbonne Fizz sticks, mostly because I'm trying to use them up, but also because they're like quite potent at like three o'clock in the afternoon when my stomach's pretty empty. And I put these in the little, like the Dixie cups that you can, that you give people water for. So it's like a tiny amount of water. And then one of these, that'll perk ya. Oh my. So I like to have those. All right. The other thing that I always keep with me in my work bag is a water bottle. So I bought these when I first started because when I first started at the hospital here in Newfoundland, um, because the water tasted really, really bad in the machines. Like I was always bringing my, just like my normal like shaker cup size bottle, but it, it wasn't good enough for 12 hours to like, it wasn't enough water and the machines tasted terrible. So I bought these bottles, this is the Big Bottle Co. I bought the, I think it's a gallon. I'm pretty sure it's a gallon and then a half gallon bottle. So these two, I usually, would bring this for 12 hours and then this for like a, a day shift, I'm sorry. And then this I would bring for a night shift because usually by the time I've done a night shift, um, I've drank enough water throughout the day and I don't really need like a gallon on a night shift. And I find like my body slows down a bit on nights and if I drink too much water, I almost get like, like bloated, it's, it's weird. I think it's normal. You know, my body wants to be sleeping and now it's awake. It's like, okay, what's happening? <laughs> so anyway. And then the last thing that I have with me always is a lunch bag, obviously. Um, I bought this when I started the hospital, mostly just to make myself feel better that I got this job that I really didn't want. And it was the only job I was offered after a year of applying. So I kind of just took it and I bought myself a colorful lunchbox to make myself feel better. So this is the Hydro Flask lunchbox. It's really nice. It's really good quality. The shape is nice because it's nice and narrow and it fits like in my bag. And it's lined and it's got like a little zipper compartment up here and then a little like compartment here. So let's see what I have in here. Okay, I have. This is something else I use, a little mini Altoids tin, also for vitamins. So I have two forms of bringing vitamins to work. Excellent. Usually like my day vitamins, I like to bring with me because I don't like having them right away in the morning if I haven't eaten. Like I like to have food in my stomach when I do eat them. So that's why I bring those little containers. And then I have more tea. So I have like hibiscus tea and peppermint tea and they're like the traditional medicinals ones and they're really really nice a container of peanut butter from the break room and then in here the other things that i have are just more and more sources of caffeine these are all the arbon fizz sticks again i like having these like three o'clock at the hospital don't really want to eat but i'm just i want something to perk me up get me through the rest of my shift so those are really good. And then I just have one of these little Starbucks Via. Is it a Via? Yeah, Via Instant Coffee. So lots of caffeine, lots of water, snacks are basically what I make sure to have with me when I'm at work. Yeah, that's pretty much, you know, like evolved over a while of figuring out like what I like to have, make sure I have in my work bag. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. I don't bring extra scrubs to work ever. You know, if I had to, if something happened, I could just go down to the OR and get a pair of scrubs if I had to. So I don't really worry too much about always having spare scrubs because I don't drive to work. My husband drives me, so I don't have like a vehicle in the parking lot where I could just run out to and grab spare stuff. So this is like what I bring in this bag is pretty much what I have at work all day. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was, Fun. 
and I can link the things down below that I use like if you're interested like the different brands of the water bottles and stuff like that but yeah thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and I'll link my um, social media like my Instagram and stuff down below and I'll see you in the next video bye